How's it going everyone? Today I'll show you how to create awesome profile pictures for Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook or YouTube. You know, the colourful ones you see all over the place. These can help you stand out from the crowd and help raise awareness for your content or for your profile. We'll be using Canva which is an easy to use and free drag and drop graphic design tool. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this useful so let's get straight into it. Firstly, we need to remove the background from your profile picture. As we only need a small image, we can use an online tool called remove.bg. Upload your image and it will remove the background automatically. If it's not quite perfect, you can click edit, then select erase slash restore to fine tune the edges. Most of the time, it gets it right first time. If you want to download the high res version, you will have to pay. However, in this case, we can just use the preview image, which is only 408 times 612 pixels, but that's more than enough for most profile pictures, which are quite small. I believe Instagram only requires a square around 110 by 110 pixels. You can use Photoshop or Photopea for this task, but because we only need a small image, this will do for now. Now that we have our profile picture without a background, we can head over to Canva. Click on create a design, enter any dimensions that are square. I'll choose 600 by 600, which should cover the profile picture requirements for most social websites. You could choose 1080 by 1080, but that might be too much in this case. Click create design, then upload your profile picture without a background and add it to the page. Then click backgrounds and select the background you like. You can either choose a solid color at the top or select one of these picture backgrounds here. A cool trick you can do with these backgrounds is actually turn them into a smooth gradient. For example, you can select one of these. Normally this looks too busy. However, if we click adjust and then change the blur, we can create a nice smooth gradient effect. We can do the same thing with this yellow and orange background, click adjust and then change the blur. If you have a specific brand colour you need to stick to then you can find more gradients at these websites. My favourite is uigradients.com, when you go to the home page it displays a random gradient, however if you click show all gradients you can see a wider selection. You can rotate them and download by clicking this get.jpg button. Another one worth mentioning is gradienta.io. This offers multicolored gradients in a range of styles. These are available to download for free and you can use them as a background or use CSS code to add to your website. Now back to Canva, you can of course also add a photo to the back as well. If you wanted a professional LinkedIn photo, you could find a picture of an office and add that to the background. You might be thinking that these images are square, but they appear as a circle on social websites. Normally the websites turn your square photo into a circle by cropping it. You can see what it will look like by adding a circle from the elements tab. This can help you align the photo. Once you've added the circle, you can then resize it so that it covers the entire page. I make sure the edges of the circle just touch the edges of the square. You can get it exactly in the middle by clicking position and choosing middle and center. You might have to resize it again slightly and then reposition to get it in the middle. Now everything in the circle will appear in the profile picture. You can then adjust the size and position of your image. If you hold control and then right click you can select the layer behind the circle and use the arrow keys to move the image up or down or left and right. Once you've finished, then just download as a PNG and upload to the website of your choice. This is my Instagram. You can see a bunch of people with cool profile pictures here. This is kind of the where I got the idea from. To change yours, just click on the profile picture in the top right, then click on add a profile photo, then upload your image. I'm still planning content for this page, so I have no posts at the moment. My main focus has been YouTube, but I'll use this Instagram at one point. Feel free to follow me if you have an Instagram page. My handle is at learnwithseb. So that's it. If you found this video useful, feel free to like and subscribe. Also hit that bell to get notified of new videos and I'll see you in the next one.